They need assistance. Somebody yeah. helps them yeah. when they get into this swimming yeah. or any place. I think in the school here, yeah. they need a teacher beside them. أعد يعني بس بيوريهم تعليم تعليم أنا اللي قلبتها For the people with disabilities, they are suffering from lots of problems. Like the the community don't respect them. That is the main problem. The people here in Egypt don't have the awareness about respecting the people with disabilities. And there are uh, some problems like they can't find suitable uh, jobs or work for them after uh, uh, training them, uh, something like this. But for normal uh, students, uh, it's okay. They go to school every day. There is no problem with them. It's okay. Um, we don't receive any uh, support from the either financial or even uh, uh, providing teachers. We, we are completely depending on ourselves. We, we have to make balance between income and uh, course and like that. So we are not uh, having any support. The main nightmare for a parent with a disabled child, not the current situation, but what's going to happen later on. I mean, I'm here to support him, but in a few years' time, I'm not going to be around him. So what's going to happen to him? Where he's going to go? How he's going to spend the rest of his life? This is the actual nightmare of a student, of a parent with family, a family with a child with a disability. It's a real nightmare because you never know what's going to happen. You know, at the time you have people around him, as you can see, I mean, people supporting him, I'm paying this, I'm paying that, I'm funding this, I'm supporting him at home. But in a few years' time, what's going to happen to him? I don't really know. I have no idea even. I have no conceivable. Just put it like this. Just put it like this. Yes. 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 We group home. Her mother died, yeah? The, and she stays at the home, obviously. Her father died. He didn't look like her at yeah. all. Yeah. I think he forgot her yeah. all the day, all the week, because she is here. Mm, smells good. <laughs> Thank you. This is my room. And uh, with the children. Yeah, with the children. Okay. 
as we know, the students prepare this for them because they teach it. So maybe it's not look perfect, but it's okay. Must be they depend on themselves. Ah. Yes. Because when we start uh, to think <laughs> about <laughs> this place, <laughs> uh, when we think about this place, of course, with, uh, at first point, it must be they have problem in the flat, like uh, someone, uh, father or mother dead. But it's the more important about mother. It's really bad for them because the mother as usual here in Egypt they care about everything and she can give them more kinds than father so here it's because we have some teacher like Mariam and so on they look like mother really they spend a lot of time together and they can discuss something and teach them and so on now we translate a lot of words. Fish, it means samaka. And uh, Baba, it means daddy. It's okay. What? I love and you. be able to work with a child or with a person with a disability, you have to love what you are doing. You cannot do it as a duty. You know, you cannot do it just to be paid, for example, because you're not going to be paid enough ever. So what I'm feeling actually is that those people, they love what they're doing. Now, I see the cases. I've been around the school now for three years, maybe four years, and I see the different cases, and some of them are very severe. Uh, but those people are really dedicated to what they're doing. They really love the, what they're doing. They're not waiting for anything back except that the success of, you know, delivering their message. Yeah. It, for me, it doesn't a work, it doesn't a job. Uh, I consider it as a service for this kind of people. Even when we have small salary, I'm not care about this. Just because I feel satisfied and I feel I do my best for them. And I get it when I inside at morning and I see a lot of students looking forward to meet me. Where is Mary? We have sport day today and we love you and so on. It's not easy to find this feeling in any place. When you see the smile over the faces of uh, our children and uh, how they are happy when they arrive to the school and um, the improvement of uh, children's abilities and uh, also change in behavior. Uh, this makes all of us happy. And we love them. Here in Fairhaven, love them very, very specially way. <laughs>